Hi, I'm James and thanks for tuning in to eBuyer. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this, the new AMD Ryzen 9 7900X and exploring AMD's 7000 series Gen 4 processor lineup as a whole, which is of course now available over at eBuyer.com through the links in the description. Now, AMD's Zen 4 is their long awaited next gen platform of desktop processors. With up to 16 Zen 4 cores and a single chip and 32 threads, these are some of the world's first five nanometer processor cores. You'll find a range of chips available for now with of course I would expect more on the way as time progresses from the top end Ryzen 9 7950X with those 16 Zen 4 cores to this the 7900X down to a Ryzen 7 and Ryzen 5 chip named the 7700 and 7600X. One of the biggest advantages with these new CPUs as well of course as lots of next gen cores is the clock speeds. Now this comes in with a base clock of 4.7 gigahertz which is pushing that 5 gigahertz M envelope out of the box, but it will also boost right up to 5.6 gigahertz, providing you can supply the CPU with the appropriate cooling to ensure it can hit those high boost clock speeds. This is especially important for gaming, as games often prefer fast single threaded performance over necessarily having access to 10, 12, or even 16 CPU cores. That makes these chips an awesome all-rounder for not only those productivity applications with all those cores and threads, as I'll touch on in a moment, but also the single threaded oriented gaming workloads. Having a chip that can do both high core count, high multi-threaded performance, and fast clock speeds with great single threaded performance is something we've not necessarily seen as being a super widespread thing over the last few years. Something I'm very, very happy to see on the new Ryzen lineup. One thing about the new Ryzen 7000 lineup, which I also really like, and AMD are continuing from their previous AM4 CPUs, is the new socket. So it's an AM5 socket with the pins on the motherboard this time, rather than the pins on the CPU. You, but AMD are saying that they're going to support this AM5 socket for a number of generations. What that means is if you adopt a Ryzen 7000 CPU now, you'll be able to update the BIOS on your motherboard and add in new CPUs with basically no hassle at all. Lots of the last generation AM4 coolers also work, but it's good to double check and that will enable in most cases your build upgrade process to be a lot more seamless if you're looking to pick up these new CPUs. What's more, there's also a wide range of motherboard chipsets available. A motherboard chipset of course defines the features you have access to on your CPU motherboard with B650, X670 and then extreme versions of both the chipsets. The difference between these is that the extreme versions give you PCI generation 5 support for not only M.2 SSDs but also next gen PCIe 5 graphics cards. That basically means that the GPU slot on your motherboard can potentially pass through a lot more bandwidth. We're talking double the previous PCIe Gen 4 standard helping to really future proof obviously not only these CPUs but the platform they're on as well. If in a few years you want to add in a next gen PCIe 5 GPU and you've got an X670E or B650E motherboard that's possible which is really really beneficial from a future proofing point of view. There's a wide range of boards available as well to suit a wide range of form factors from the smallest mini ITX through to the largest EATX designs. There's options from motherboard manufacturers like Asus, MSI and Gigabyte to meet all your needs. But you can of course as always find a full lineup of X670, B650 and their extreme counterport boards over on ebuy.com for all the different options you have available. In terms of performance, these things stack up very well. We ran through a few different benchmark tests from gaming to synthetics. In Cinebench, which is a tool famed for testing the multi and single threaded performance, these CPUs delivered impressive gains over their last generation counterparts. And in gaming, you'll definitely be able to hit that all important 60 FPS at 4K and well over 100 FPS at low resolutions. With a CPU like this, sure not to bottleneck pretty much any of the latest next gen GPUs. One thing that AMD have also carried through from their last generation, which saw a great success from a consumer standpoint, is the amount of cache on these processors. With up to 80 megabytes of cache on the 7950X, that's going to keep the data the CPU needs quickly, nice and close for snappy, fast access, allowing these things to be a really well rounded package. You can learn more about the full lineup of Zen 4 processors from the Ryzen 5 7600X through to the top end 7950X over on ebuy.com. Thanks for tuning in and as always we'll see you soon.